I did it! Look, here we are! I made it work. How is that audio for you? Okay, so we're going to play a new game. I played this for, I don't know, two, two and a half hours yesterday and had a lot of fun with it. But when you get to basically the first boss fight, if you lose, it's game over. And you can have a save that's like the start of the day or one day earlier. But I took that as a, a decent opportunity to just start over and know a little bit more about the game and I'll just kind of talk through it as we go. My dearest Sylvia. Greetings from Rafta. It's here on this charming la island that I'll build my potions shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this a land like no other. Who knows what riches will await me? Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit. Unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great. More to the point, it means I'm died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream! Hey, Godron, good to see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the game so far, so I hope you'll enjoy it as well. My dream! Come to Rafta. Accept your inheritance and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. I know, right? Great mustache. I was expecting more, like, much older uncle vibes. This is... This guy... This is a potion maker about town. Dearly departed, Oswald. And fantasy language. Sylvia... Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald Wild, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Whoop. Maybe that one, maybe not. Maybe not so much. All right, I'm gonna try to remember what goes on in this game and if I should move my video box somewhere else. I think it'll be okay. What I'm going to do is, as soon as I can go into the options, I'm going to try and go in and lower the score slash in-game sound because it's a little bit loud for me for right now. Impressed by how much of a mess. Yeah, this is this takes some serious neglect slash uh, brain uh, brain does not see messes. Uh, you know, I'm not a super super tidy person, so I can only throw so many stones here. Okay, this place is um, not all I hoped for, but this could still work. I can make this work. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw in the rafters. Good thing I've got a broom. Forgive me for the intrusion. What? I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm Helene, and you're Sylvia, right? We have some business to discuss, but first I must offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Thanks, but I really didn't know him that well. All the same, it's a pity, particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. And as his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls to you. Her hair is amazing. Wait, really? I didn't know that's how that worked. But, um, 
I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I've got the shop. Excellent. Would you like to play the pay the full balance of one million gold now? I love that this is a, like a mimic briefcase. That's very good. What? <laughs> I take it you'd prefer to set up a payment plan. But that's so much gold! You could build five shops with that much gold! What did the world did Oswald do with all of it? Mismanaged it, to judge by appearances. He extremely just pretended to die to evade creditors. Right, but then he should have left. Well, I guess if he has to leave it to somebody, the debts has to go, that it has to go somewhere, right? I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look it over. That fine print is very fine. Poof. What did you just do? I've invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time, and this shop is yours. Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property, and will be legally obligated to work for us until such as a time we deem your debt repaid. That's extremely bad. That sounds bad. I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here, I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion so I can be your first patron. We got a deck builder, friends. It's got CUNA animation and it's a deck builder. Hell yeah. Thumbs up. So I'm just going to crack a soda here. And then we're going to learn how to do the haggling, which is the main thing we use the deck for. Yes, this this initial hand is not not super great. All right, so this is the cost, and this is how much you're changing the cost. Over here on the bottom left, we have the patron's patience. This is like the timer, and then we have name and a description. Every time you fill this bar, it adds some amount to the potion value. <laughs> Tear pieces it. So we will not be stuck with these cards forever, thankfully. It's potion. Wait, you know, you knew that. Um, it's uh, pretty good, probably. I think you'll like it. Wait, no. And since I don't have anything left, all my the oil. The option is end turn, so that's gonna add that's gonna take one from patience. So stress uh, is very bad. The current's odds of drawing a stress card whenever a card is drawn. So with a 40% chance, uh, it's very high. Uh, now that all three would be stress cards and a 40% chance, not super likely. But yeah, so the stress cards are all grayed out like this. I can't play anything, so I just end my turn, and I get stressed the hell out. I think at 100 you get stressed, you uh, you just can't go anymore. Well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have a full 10 days before your first payment is due. Yeah. I think there's a new uh, like joke set for magic um, out um, soon, if not, if it hasn't just came out, come out. Hi, Mighty Mer. Um, I don't know that we can blame all of it on Legends and Lattes, but we might be able to blame some of it um, because at least this one feels like it's fitting into the cozy fantasy vibe that Legends and Lattes success showed there was clearly a lot of appetite for. But what, video games are developed over such a long time. I can't imagine that any of the games that we're seeing were start uh, started after that. But maybe they. Um, but it's still like it's still your new newcomer to town, running shop, elements of romance, uh, and it's about things you drink. So there are some commonalities, but it's definitely not ca cafe. Yeah, I think f like a branch out from for, like life sim. Moving into other categories makes sense. There's also a like a magic chocolatier game, I think that's coming. Then that's the next one from the Stardew Valley dev. Um, it being potions, I couldn't really say. 
Of course, of course this would happen. I never should have come here. What am I gonna do? Oh, bleep! Huh? It's an owl. With... Um... Yeah, Sanguine Hayes, if you want to um, uh, whisper me a link, I will go and take a look at it. And I hope that you did not hurt, hurt your hand too much. Oh, my hip. Oh, uh, I mean, um, hoot hoot. I heard that. You, you can talk. Well, um, well, of course I can talk. You must be new here. This is Rafter, where the strange is commonplace and um, um, the birds are chatty. And what are property laws like in Rafta? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. I live here, actually, if you could call it living, eating scraps, hiding in the shadows. You live here, in the shop. I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, um, he, did he never mention me? How strange. Uh, perhaps he was just, um, so embarrassed to admit how integral I was to a shop. This is absolutely the uncle, right? We've got the mustache bashful, hiding face. This is the uncle. Um, right, okay, back to here. That, yes, that's it. Uh, in fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is Owl. Owl, really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway, um, Owl, it was nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. No, 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 you don't want to do that. I saw what happened. That lawyer's soul binding means she'll be able to track you to the ends of the globe. Miss a single payment and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle until you've worked off your debt. Is this Amazon now? There's no way I can make enough selling potions. Maybe not through the traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time. There are five competitions taking place over the next 50 days. A series of contests in which local merchants will go head to head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. Now that's, I guess, 10K is the first one. You'll simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. Those are what you'll be judged on. Win the first competition and you automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prizes will be even bigger. And just look at that juicy grand prize. Win all five competitions and you'll have all the money you need to get that debt collector off your back for good. You really think I've got a shot at this? Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. I'm the tutorial owl. Well, all right then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, owl. We're going to win those competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some insert title screen. Who boy. Oh, that, no, no title screen there? Did they do a title card? I don't remember that they did. Potionomics is the name of the game, right? Blah, 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 so on and so forth. So we have events. Random stuff can be happening on a given day, which will impact prices of things. A potion a day keeps the healer away. A new study has highlighted the benefits of daily health potion use in shoring up the body's natural defenses. Oh, these are vitamins now? Increased value for health potions. Well, that's very convenient for us. I see you cleaned up the place a bit. That's very good. Now the real work can begin. We need to craft some potions. Let's head over to the cauldron and get brewing. Brew. Okay, so the thing that's getting covered up is the timer. Over there. So, let's see. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Because I don't know that I want to be able to, I don't know that I want to go down here. Maybe I'll make me a little bit smaller. 
like that. Yeah, let's see. No, I don't. You stay where you are. Lock. I'd have to get. I'd have to make myself tinier. All right, let's see how that works. Your uncle left a few, uh, handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around a cauldron? You went to school for this, after all. I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me. The regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle all of the basic stuff before they'll let me brew more advanced potions. See? The first, I got the first stamp when I graduated. To get the next one, I have to put in a lot of hours at the cauldron. Well, you'll certainly get your hours. Starting now, in fact. Right, my first professional brew. Better go over in my notes from college, just to be safe. Yeah, thanks for hanging, uh, Godron. Lurk away. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different magic-infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magimens. Ah yes, the mighty magimen. Is this Dr. Mario now? It is pretty cool. Uh, I, I played a good bit of it, I guess just yesterday, and I got to a boss fight and lost and had to start over, which is why... We're starting from the beginning here. The mighty Magimen. Where would we be without it? There wouldn't be a video game. Wherever magic has left its mark on the world, there you will find Magimens. Magic creatures, mystical plants, even the rocks of this supernatural island contain the critical alchemical compound. Heating an ingredient releases the Magimens contained within it, thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion's specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of magimens. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magimens they contain will determine what kind of potion is created. So, ratio B to C. B green, C yellow, a green thing, and a yellow thing. Ratios are important too. If your balance of magimens is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. So we have a two to one here when we were looking for a one to one. It sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, one step at a time. Got to. All right, this is uh, Sylvia. Sorry. Okay, one step at a time. Got to put ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion. Duh. Can't go wrong with health potions, and I have that recipe memorized. Health potions require a combination of red and green magimens. Some fey berries and mandrake root should do the trick. All right, so we have fey berry is a fruit. It has six magimens, and they're all red. The true magical fruit, it grows wherever fairy magic has touched the soil. So this is the value, the base price. And we add a mandrake root, and now we're at 50-50. And then we add one more of each, because as we add more ingredients, the total magimens goes up. We have 24 of 75. At 75 magimens, we would tier up to the next level, to like a better potion. That's everything we need. Let's get the lid on and set it to brew. And it will brew for two time periods. So each of these, we got clocks in this game too, friends. Clocks. Okay, I see that I'm covering up this thing over here. So I don't know where they expected people, where do they expect streamers to put their stuff? Am I supposed to go up here? Let's find out. Video game designers, if you want your game to be streamed, think about your UI and figure out, is there a place where someone could put their face camera while playing your game and not have to move it around all the time? I hope that this one is it. Now we brew. All right, nothing left to do here, but let it cook. And then we return. Your potions should be ready in the afternoon. Meanwhile, I have some old ones in our inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shills. 
All right, we have minor health potions. Three of them. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go to audio. I'm gonna turn the music down by a fair amount. And some of this. Just gonna turn everything down to three quarters. All right, let me know if that's too soft and you can't hear any of the background or ambient or whatever anymore. It was just loud to me. Arrange potions. These old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on the shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. Boop. 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 Okay. Glad that the audio is working. Good. When these customers come in, they'll see what you have available for a purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. We're finally ready to open the store. Let's sell some potions! Open shop! So, you'll see that we need two time slots to be able to open the store, so if we were like the end of evening, we couldn't open. Okay, hopefully this goes better than yesterday. It will! It has to! Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling! The art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each potion. You want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they'll pay. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. Ah! Here comes one now! You've got this! Peppy Commoner. I used to buy from your uncle. I see talent runs in the family. This looks pretty great, if the price is right. I should start by setting them up for my sales pitch. So, here is the actual deck that we're going to get to use. But we're still in tutorial. So, set them up costs one patience. Raise interest by four. If opener, apply set him up. So and this is uh, opener. This card has an ability which will only activate if it's the first played from your hand each turn. You can activate an opener as the first card played each turn. So that ex did explain that extra thing. Set him up is a buff to Sylvia that increases interest applied by the card reel him in by 20%. You've made an excellent selection. I see what you're getting at. Now that I have their attention, I can reel them in. For two, I raise interest by eight, and that's been buffed. That's all I have for now. Gotta brace myself for their turn. So, then for one patience, you can gain shield, which is like preparing yourself for whatever the co customer is gonna say. Okay, let's see what they have to say. I love that it's explaining the things that I'm explaining. When I came in, I thought the potions would be super cheap. Uh, I don't know about that. Good thing I had my guard up, otherwise I'd be stressed. I guess I can finish up the deal now. Let's close it out. So, this handshake red icon at the top is a closer, and it will always increase the potion, the price of the potion by 5%. We raise interest and then close the sale. So we go from three of eight to four of 11 on the next tier, and we get the plus 5%. So that's basically how this works. And then, of course, as we get more cards and different cards, things will change, and they'll be um, the the customers will have different effects and approaches and things like that. So, if you remember the conversation card battle elements of um, Griftlands, it's a bit like that. It's a little bit more simplified. Thanks. Come again. Step right up. It's going to be a great day, don't you think? I can feel the magic coming off of this one. All right, so they're going to devalue the potion, price of the potion. I'm going to draw a card. Now I'm gonna do set them up and reel them in. And they are just going to devalue the po potion, so I don't need the shield. These are very perky people. The animations are lovely. There's not an infinite number of them, so they do get to repeating, but they're quite cute. 
All right, so they're gonna do one stress. Three of my cards are close them out, so I'm just gonna reel them in and then close it out. You're the best. Take care. Who's next? I waved you on the street yesterday, but I guess you didn't see me. How much is this one? It's probably more than I want to spend. Oh, gloomy craftsman. So they have shield, which blocks uh, interest generation. Interest is basically the damage uh, equivalent in this game. Yeah, this one not so perky. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw. Okay, so all I have is this one, and they're gonna lose extra patience. So I'm just gonna end turn. I need to get back to my shop and jack up the prices. Uh, some things can't be rushed. All right, so we are going to set them up. We have two patients left, so we're gonna use one more. And now we'll do this, which will get up one more tier and close it out. Well, all right then. Thanks for your business. That's all of them for now. That didn't go badly. Yes, it's clear that your haggling skills are already improving, but if I could offer a small suggestion. In a negotiation, sometimes the best move is to make the move you haven't thought about yet. When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. Scheme. So, for two patients, draw three cards instead of the one patient's draw one card. I can be a little bit diabolical when I have to be. I look forward to seeing it in action, but that's enough of a break for now. Yeah, the all the art and visuals in this are just lovely. That was a break? Come on now, back to work. Those health potions should be done brewing. Let's take a look. Brew. So we can reduce stress by doing activities with other characters or by sleeping. The health look potions look ready. Let's bottle them up. Okay, so it's already brewed. No time remaining. We bottle. And now we see what we actually got. We got a four star minor health potion, two of them, which uh, has an initial, uh, an initial gold value of 39. That's the first batch done. Why not make some more for the night shift? Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what will be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow magimens. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. Because we're still tutorializing. Perfect. Let's make those mana potions. Okay. Sack of slime is yellow. Magimens. Bloop. 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 See how we're, we're at two to one when I have two and one? And then we go back to one and one because the formula is one to one, B to C. Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat to speed up the process. Fuel. When added to your cauldron's fire, it will reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. Be on the lookout for different types of fuel from different areas of the island. Not all fuel is created equal. I think there's a little bit of hay left. Go ahead and feed it to the fire. It's a hay. Efficiency, one, one time slot. So then we go down to these slots underneath and I put in that. So instead of three time, it will take two. Great, now we can open the shop for the afternoon to sell the health potions you brewed this morning. Return. So it's showing us kind of a rhythm where you get up, you start brewing, you, you bottle whatever you have. If you have something, you start brewing, you open the shop, you sell. When you've done selling, you start, you bottle what you have, you brew some more, and then you go and sell again. If you're just doing a whole day where you're selling, but there are going to be other activities that we can do that we'll spend time on. So first we have to arrange potions so that we have inventory to sell. I don't have a third one, so just that's going to be empty. And now we open the shop. Oh, actually I should deck builder. So now that Owl gave me extra cards. So here's the deck building tutorial. 
Here are your cards on this page. These are the haggling skills you had to begin with. Head over to my page to see the new haggling tip I taught you. Boop. Recognize that one? Uh, this is also your relationship with this character, I'm guessing, right? One heart out of five. Recognize that one? New haggle techniques will appear here as you learn them. To add new techniques to your active deck, you'll have to make space for them. Mouse over any card in the deck and press the minus button to remove it. Then you'll be able to click on a card and add it to add it to your deck. So let's remove one of Think Sylvia Think, which is the other draw card. And let's do one more. So we're gonna have two schemes and two of this. Now we have a 20 out of 20 deck. You have to fill up to 20 cards and we save. So now with that in mind, we have arranged our potions. We can see them right here. We can open our shop. We sell more. No one believes me, but I swear I saw a dragon yesterday. This looks pretty great if the price is right. Okay, so we have two set them ups, but then close them out, which we don't want to do right away because they still have patience. They are going to increase stress and give the debuff Fuming increased stress by two at the start of Zelvia's turn. So let's do this one and this one. So that gets us to 47 plus 20%. They have a lot of patience left, but they're going to hit us for at least three stress. What's left in my deck? I'm pondering whether I should just close this one out. Well, let's keep going so we see what it's like when you get stress. I'm good with my hands. How about you? If we could just focus for a minute, please. So I got the one and then plus two stress because of fuming. So now I have a ten this tension card, which is because I have stress. If it in hand at end of turn applies tension, which doubles all stress received from all sources. So I can scheme to draw more cards. I can reel them in. I can reel them in again. And then with one patience left, I can just close out the deal. So we get 51, but we took some stress. I can't wait to try it. Thanks for your business. Come on up. I used to buy from your uncle. I see talent runs in the family. I hope we can come to an agreement. Uh, stress, you can get rid of stress by going and doing activity with other characters. There are some cards that will reduce stress and then you reduce some stress overnight when you sleep. So stress will build over the course of a day. All right, so we're gonna do set them up because we want this to be an opener. I don't think I'm going to read all of these little bits along the way because this game is already a lot of reading. So just be aware of that. Okay, reel them in. Reel them in some more. They're going to give me increased stress by one whenever a card is played. I'm going to lose one. All right, I think I can afford to wait and try to get some more. So uh, I'm going to gain one stress every time I play a card uh, moving forward. So let's do set them up, reel them in, and now with one left, we're going to close it out. We got that one for 57, but it cost us some taking some stress. That's all of them for now. Nice job. Now don't forget those mana potions. There's still time to sell them before the day's over. Let's bottle them up. Brew. Right. All brewed. We have a four star, five star minor mana potion. Clock in at 36 gold each. We have two. We created two. Great, we can sell these for the last block of the day. 
Before we do, however, let's set a new po uh, new let's brew a new set of mana potions. This time we'll kick it up a notch. I've got some ingredients stashed away for a rainy day that will push our potion to the next tier. Ooh, loot. Sack of hive slime and man, uh, man worm root plus some hay. Let's drop these in and make some real potions. Bloop. So these are 18 each. We have, looks like a maximum, I don't know, of, so at, let's see. This cauldron cannot handle more than 75 Magimans, but if we hit more than 60, we'll, we will tear up. That's T-I-E-R, not tear as in cry. So then two of each of these. This is a f uh, gonna take five, so we put the hay in so it down, it's down to four. And we have tiered up, so now this is gonna be a common mana potion. You'll see that we have 36 and 36, so the balance of Magimans is perfect. When you're at perfect, the potion gains an additional two stars on completion with a chance of gaining a bonus star. Looks like we're gonna be at zero star common mana potion, but then we'll get plus two for free and possibly the third star. This batch will need to brew overnight, so you can bottle them up in the morning. In the meantime, let's fit in one last haggling session. So, we arrange potions. Bloop. Bloop. And then open shop. So, we have two time units left, which means we can open the shop. I had a dream this place was condemned. I have my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. Alright, so set them up. Reel them in. Reel them in. And because you're down to four, and you were going to stress me, I'm just going to close this deal out. Well, all right then. Also, I think the gloomy artisan, like, uh, it's harder to get them enthusiastic, if I remember correctly. Who's next? Good to see you. I mean it. I love it. Let's talk money. Set them up. So we have this bonus for real men now. We're going to scheme. But we did not get a real men. You are just going to lose extra patience, so I don't need the shield. You have seven left, so we're going to go ahead and let the turn go. So many Twitch streamers will get money for me so I can stop seeing this Nerf Fury ad. Is it the um, Secret Wars one or the Marvel Snap one? Because I just saw that Snap had come out. All right, so I do get the Reel Em In bonus. And we're Reel Em In again. Now we're down to one patience, so we close it out. Snap. Yeah, it is... It can be really annoying when just one thing is like fills up every like every ad slot is just the same thing and over and over again, right? You're like, oh, here's a 30 second ad slot and it's just the same 15 second ad twice. Come back soon. And that's all of them for now. So when we're brewing, a higher total of Magimans in like overall is going to generally be better, but there's some other factors that we'll learn about. And so she is in fact a witch, so she has her brooms cleaning. I think I could get the hang of all of this. Hey, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can. I live here. Are you invoking squatter's rights? Because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I've just inherited this place. Huh. Just when you're sure you know, you know a condemned building when you see it. But maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potions witch. 
As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions? You should kick some business my way. Sure. Sure thing. I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. So this is like relationship up, I think. Semi-legitimate businesses are the best businesses. I think it definitely in some cases there are times when legitimacy here is not necessarily uh, what you're looking for if the people who are offering legitimacy are bad. Especially in games when you're trying to be like roguish and cool. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Bloop. So this is a customer debuff. It raises their interest by eight at the start of the customer's turn. So this is damage over time on the, op on the opponent's turn. Lasts for three turns. You know, I think I will use that, but where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Uh, just go outside and look up. I look forward to doing business. Once I'm up and running, I'll need ingredients pretty regularly. I guess I'll see you around then. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. All right, so that's the day. We had eight customers. We sold seven potions. We spent no gold, but we earned 404. They're gonna be not, uh, so we have nine days selling, and then on the 10th day is the competition, where we will need a common health potion of tier three or higher, or three stars or higher. Yeah, that sounds rough. The like customer serving algorithms or systems or whatever for podcasts still seem to be leaving a lot uh to the a lot to be wanted especially a cast i've found like a cast is what waypoint radio uses and i would say of the ads that i was served maybe a third of them were even somewhat appropriate for me I think with a lot of these, they just go, oh, well, we think a plurality of our audience is people who, like, a plurality of our audience is men, and we think that manscaping will apply to them, um, when it, in fact, could be, you know, like, 48% of your audience identifies as men, 47% identifies as women, and uh, the 4% is either neither don't ask me or doesn't answer. It's like, okay, well, I guess that is about half your audience, but that's a lot of people. Brindlewood Bay live play. I mean, the thing is, that stuff is so gendered versus like, hey, you want to look your best. So you don't want to have hair where you don't want to have hair, which is like, yes, I think for many people aging, there is the question of hair where you don't want to have hair. But manscaping's whole thing is very bro -y, right? Oh, wow. Uh, is this uh, an actual potion shop? This character is awesome. I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day, and now potions. Yeah, pardon the mess. I I'm working to get the place up and running again. Well, I'm impressed. You must know what you're doing. That's really kind of you. The truth is I'm new to town and new to running a shop. I'm sort of figuring it all out as I go. Really? I'm new here too! My name's Mint, and I just got to town a few days ago. I'm Sylvia, resident potions witch. And by resident, I mean I literally live here. It's seriously good, so good to meet you, Sylvia. Now I have to ask, does Foster the Formidable ever, ever shop here, or Docs the Defenestrator? That would be a huge honor. I'm not sure I'd recognize them. <gasps> you didn't have posters of them in your bedroom when you were little? I guess that was just me. Might be a little of a fangirl. To be honest, I've been geeking out pretty much nonstop since I got here. I mean, this island has a lot of historical significance to the Heroes Guild. This is where they defeated Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafta. Of course, the fallout from that battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. 
But the whole place is rebuilding now, and that includes the local chapter of the guild. They put out a call for new recruits. You got the muscles to be a hero, Winky Winky. Eyebrows. Ever thought about joining? Aw, thanks. I do work out. And as a matter of fact, joining up is exactly why I came to Rafta. I answered the call. Hey, that's great. Congrats on the new gig. Thanks, but I'm only a provisional member for now. They've got me running odds jobs for the XP. Oh, that's slang for experience. Any day now, I'll be proper, ready for proper adventures outside of town. After all, there's a whole island out there, teeming with mystery and danger. And potion ingredients, of course. Swing by the guild hall if you're ever looking for loot. I could help you out for a small fee. Sounds promising. Thanks for the tip. No sweat, Sylvia. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. That's going to work in your favor, I bet. Evoke sympathy in your customers, and they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. So you gain shield and sympathy, which increases all interest gained. So this is just flat out better than the defense card that I had. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Then I have a feeling you're going to do great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some fetch quests to tackle. You wouldn't believe how often people in this town misplace family heirlooms. That's very fun. That character, Mint, is one of my favorites so far. So we have Customer Appreciation Day and Total Recall. Decreased value for mana potions, unfortunately. And increase in Connor customers. So we're out of ingredients. Can't make any more potions. Might as well check out Quinn's shop, right? Or else there's always the Heroes Guild. Now we can travel. We're gonna check our cauldron. So we have a two-star common mana potion batch of two potions. As you decide what potions you're going to make, reference your recipe book. Throwing things into a cauldron and seeing what out what comes out is all well and good, but planning things can give you an edge when reacting to the market. Recipe book. So, here are the four categories. And I know health potion, mana potion, fire tonic, and sight enhancer, plus poison cure. But later potions I have to unlock. So I don't have any, any ingredients left, so we're going to go back here. Yeah, uh, the this game is obviously written by people that play and like a lot of different RPGs. And I think that really helps in selling what feels largely like a pretty generic setting as something that is fun and feels fresh. So we're going to do deck builder. I'm going to drop Brace Yourself and add sympathy. So here's Mint, budding hero. Check out those arms. Mint, I think, goes to the terrain school of uh, of butch, butch warrior protagonists. Um, business contact has a lot of stars you can gain. Mint is eager to make her way as a hero, and she hopes Sylvia will be part of her journey. Owl. And then we have Quinn. Quinn has introduced themselves to Sylvia and has suggested they might do business together. So Quinn is a they-them person. And yeah, I think that's good for our deck for now. Now I, I will travel. So we're going to leave the shop and visit other locations. It costs one time slot, which is deducted when you return. So you can travel all around town and visit different people. And then when you go home, it will one time slot will... Uh, be expended. So we're going to go see Mint. Hi, Sylvia. I'm so glad you decided to drop in on me. What do you think of the guild hall? Isn't it amazing? There's a lot more taxidermy than I expected. Yeah, heroes love their trophies. Maybe I'll be contributing one soon. Because get this, I've been approved to go adventuring. The training wheels are coming off. You should send me out sometime. I promise I'll bring back some great loot for you. How does that work exactly? I can tell you all about it. I just had my orientation and I took detailed notes in my dedicated color-coded adventuring binder. 
Sounds complicated. Nah, I'm just a nerd for this stuff. It's actually a pretty simple system. Start by choosing what area you want me to explore. The farther I get into that area, the more loot I'll bring back. Provide me with potions is totally optional, but the right potion could help get me farther, or might help me find better spoils. Every potion has its uses, but health potions and mana potions are by far the most important. Health potions help me withstand damage, and mana potions power my attacks, allowing me to fight my way past monsters. However, there's a limit to how many potions I can drink at a time. All that magic can really mess with a person's stomach. Oh, and don't forget there's a fee every time you send me out. Those are set by the guild. That's about it. Consider me on call. Honestly, I can't wait to get out there soon enough. I know you'll do amazing. I hope so. This is what I've been training for, after all. Oh, they also gave us a goodie bag of health and mana potions for new roots. Let's use them on my first adventure. Ta-da! So you don't have to have the right things to send her out. And hey, um, thanks for the support, Sylvia. It means a lot. Okay. So we can send her on an adventure, but first we're going to hang out. Mm, we want to hang out now. So I do want to get selling. I don't have any stress, so let's just do an adventure. Alright, so at the beginning, only the Enchanted Forest is unlocked. These are different zones that she could be sent to. You have to unlock them over time. So if we give her one each of these, I think she should be able to get everywhere. So that's four, which is her tolerance. It costs 25 gold. We'll take one unit of time. And now we see how well the hero thinks they will do on the adventure. Three, four, and she thinks she will beat the boss. So yeah, let's go. All right, hammer time. I guess she uses a hammer to fight. So mint is not available. Now we'll go over to Quinn's Ingredient Boutique. Don't look down. So I'm going to shop. Quinn also has a, a mimic as the uh, chest. So we have 379. I'm just going to buy 10 of everything, which is my max. These are the most basic ingredients. We have fruit, plant, slime as categories. And now I can decide if I want to hang out. Let's start brewing something first. How about that? I did a thing. Quinn has big, um, constantly tired vibes. Welcome back. You'll probably want to make some potions soon. Check your potion recipe book for all the possibilities. Remember, offering a variety is key. While potions brew, consider dropping in on your new acquaintances. But traveling takes time, so plan accordingly. Well, anyway, I think you can take it from here. Remember, adapt and overcome. Oh, and take an early rest if you need it. Otherwise, you might get too stressed to function. I mean, have you have you lived this this life lately? very stress. Okay. So I think mana potions had a debuff. So let's make some health potions. We don't have any fuel, so it's just going to be two time for this. We do have potions we can sell. Let's see if we want to do that. We have two of these. But mana potions are worth less today, so instead we're going to travel and we're going to go see Quinn. Okay, Mint is back because one time has passed. If you knock down a boss monster in the forest, it sure does make a sound! And this is what we get. Two Kappa Pheromones, two Mandrake Roots, a Unicorn Horn, 
a fairy flower bulb, and some oak wood, which is a fuel. The enchanted forest was no sweat. I actually enjoyed being out there. I knew you could handle it, and I'm excited to use those ingredients you brought back. I found some other goodies too, and I set them aside for you. These are glamours. They'll change the look of your shop. They're purely cosmetic, so don't expect any tangible benefits. Still, they're pretty cool, right? It's cosmetics. Hey, thanks. I can see how it'd be nice to switch things up every now and again. No problem. I'll keep an eye out for more. Apparently some critters got into a shipment, and now they're spread all over the island. Which reminds me. I can return to the forest any time, but I'm also up for more of a challenge. The mushroom, mire, and bone wastes are available to me now. They're a little more dangerous, but that means better rewards. And here's one more tip. You should introduce yourself to our guildmaster, Baptiste. He sends out daily expeditions, and if you invest in one, you'll get a share of what comes back. I'll be sure to introduce myself, and I'll keep you in mind for further adventures, too. Sounds good, Sylvia. I'm ready when you are. But now, I want to do Hangout. I don't have stress to get rid of, but I do want to increase my relationship with the characters. So we're going to go literally whack bushes. Mint leads the way into the forest, where she gives Sylvia a simple wooden sword. She proceeds to hack away at various bushes, encouraging Sylvia to do the same. Some of the bushes drop coins. One even drops a gemstone. Mint suggests they donate their windfall to the local soup kitchen, and Sylvia agrees. I don't understand the science, but this sure beats checking the cu cushions for loose change. So that's like a Zelda thing, right? Where you you use a sword on bushes and you find money. All right, so it reduces stress and increases your relationship. So now we can spend one time and rank up the relationship, which I want to do. Let's hang out for a bit. Sylvia, I love this guild hall to pieces, but let's be real, it's a death trap waiting to happen. Want to make the rounds with me? I could use an extra set of eyes. Mint stalks the guild hall, her shoulders squared and her eyes steely with determination. She produces a rough sheet of sandpaper, then sets to work smoothing down the sharp corners of every table she finds. She moves fragile vases to higher shelves. She padlocks a drawer full of kitchen cutlery, shuriken, and minor explosives. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were baby-proofing the guild hall. What's going on? Is it one of the hero is one of the heroes you know expecting? Only in the sense that I'm expecting my colleagues to overindulge and start bumping into things. It happens every night. And bruised shins are no fun on long hikes or dungeon delves. It's kind of you to shield your colleagues. I want to do my part, you know? Be a team player. It won't surprise you to hear being here is a total dream. She's very cute. I want to flirt. Should I pinch you? I'm sort of tempted to. Don't you dare. If I, I'm dreaming, I don't want to wake up. Not that it isn't weird sometimes. I mean, I'm bunking with people I recognize from trading cards. I'm meeting at the same table as people I've written fanfic about. And I say you should never meet your heroes. Oh, meeting your heroes is awesome, but sharing a bathroom with them is, um, just super weird. So you weren't exaggerating before. You really are a fangirl. I know. So, uh, this, all of this, I like. Yeah, ever since I was little. I grew up in a quiet port town. It was nice. You say nice like it's a bad thing. No, really, I had a great childhood. I was safe and happy. I had eight siblings who are all awesome in different ways. And my dads are both book lovers, so we got bedtime stories every night. I remember fairy tales about bold princesses and fables about wily animals. But my favorites were the stories about real life heroes. I like those best because they were true. I drift off to sleep, imagining what it would be like to be one of them. And now you're here. Yeah, here, with a chance to be a hero on the level of those I used to dream about. I only hope I can live up to their example. I have a feeling you'll do great. No kidding? Well, I'm sure learning a lot. The sparring sessions are intense. I've been doing some sparring of my own. 
the verbal kind. Here's a pointer I learned the hard way. Keep your guard up when you go on the offensive. It's probably sound device whether you're wielding wooden swords or savvy words. This card is very good because there's a card that will raise interest by about this amount for the same cost, and here you gain shield, so you, you get offense and defense at the same time. I feel more formidable already. Good. Show them no mercy, Sylvia. You've got it what it takes to handle grumpy customers. And sharp edge countertops, too! Do I have the potions to send her on another thing? Possibly. Let's see how this goes. How about this? Be sure that we we make it. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. All right, hammer time. So now we can see Baptiste. Oh wow, this place is bigger than I realized. Greetings, fair patron. Greetings and welcome to the Heroes Guild. I'm Baptiste, esteemed guildmaster and fledgling barkeep. Hi, I'm Sylvia. I'm new to town and I make potions. Then you'll certainly benefit from our services. Hiring a hero is a surefire way to get your hands on new ingredients. You can work directly with any hero you're acquainted with, or come to me. I always have a list of upcoming expeditions. Invest in one, and in return, you'll receive a portion of whatever loot is brought back. Wow, it sounds like the guild has a lot to offer. We aim to please, so if there's anything else I can do to be of service, just let me know. How about sharing some pointers? Do you have any advice for a fellow merchant? Well, I don't know that I'm a merchant, per se. I'm more of a facilitator. A master administrator, if you will. I am Tuxedo Mask. This is very much a Tuxedo Mask face thing, right? I keep everything running smoothly here while our town's great heroes seek glory, adventure, and resources. It almost sounds like you're bragging about being a bureaucrat. Don't you know? Bureaucrats are the very linchpin holding society together. Uh, I'm dramatic. We don't call ourselves heroes, but if making order of a chaotic world isn't heroic, I don't know what is. Well, that's an interesting point of view. Isn't it? And in striking up a conversation about it, I'm demonstrating that piece of advice you asked for. If you've got something to sell, then best to captivate your audience forthwith. Captivate. So as an opener, you will increase the um, patrons' patience by two, or one if, you, if it's not an opener. I think I can manage that. It's advice I've recently taken to heart. I arrived here only a few months ago, intent on guiding the guild to greatness. And the heroes have greeted me with open arms. Although some of their traditions are rather mystifying. Say you look like a commoner. Perhaps you should could share some insights. You must be a noble then. Shh. <laughs> I'm trying to downplay all of that, you know. To help me fit in. Yeah, the rose. But that brings me to my question. Tell me, this charming little tradition of leaving gifts in a new friend's shoes? Gifts? Yes, you know, like uh, shaving cream and rotten fruit, and that one time it was a scorpion. Is that really supposed to go on for months? I mean, I'm flattered, but it's starting to feel like overkill. They're taunting you. There is no tradition like that. Oh, really? Well, the joke's on them, because I've been taunted by the best. It'll take more than a bit of tomfoolery to get my goat. If I've ever seen a goat. At any rate, I shouldn't be too surprised. I knew coming here that there would be a period of adjustment. Finding yourself suddenly in a new land and a new role. It can be challenging, can't it? We'll get the hang of it. 
I mean, almost everyone in this town is a transplant. Indeed. In that sense, you and I fit in quite well. At any rate, it's been a pleasure making your acquaintance, Sylvia. I hope you shall avail yourself of our services. And I trust we'll find the opportunity to chat again soon. I do tend to appreciate those characters who are a little bit much. Okay, and I think I can wait on a hangout and then invest. Let's do one of each. So there's only a 10% chance to disrupt the ecosystem and we'll get some stuff back. All for 56 gold. They'll come back with quite a tail. Now we travel. And we already got stuff from Quinn, so let's go home. Yeah, the ecosystem thing is cool because it does seem like they really are thinking about what it's like to interact with the, the area around you. So, brew. I think we have finished now. Yep. I see you've acquired an ingredient with a trait. Huh? I did? Sylvia, you need to pay attention to what's going into your inventory. An ingredient with a trait is an opportunity to strategize at the cauldron and engage your customer's senses. Oh yeah, I have some notes on this, actually. Just need a quick refresher. Some special ingredients not have just magimens, but also traits. By placing these ingredients with traits into your brew, it will impart those traits to the potions. By using an ingredient with a positive trait in your brew will boost the value of the final potion. But be careful, though. Ingredients can also impart some less desirable traits that will lower what customers are willing to pay for a potion. So we bottle up this health potion. Cool. And what? So the unicorn horn has, it looks like a bad taste. Fairy flower bulb has a good smell. So we can make something that's going to take longer. So our in recipe for poison, we want two red to one yellow to one blue. Do I have anything that gives blue yet? No. Okay. And then this is red and yellow. these and then one of those and then we get a fire tonic so we have some variety mm, actually I changed my mind let's do whatever the best um, health potion that we can do it's gonna be now this is gonna be it's not gonna be quite equal because we have this thing that gives four. So we're only going to get one bonus star in completion with a chance of gaining a second star. But that's all we can put in here because this, this cauldron only, can only hold four. But we will get a bonus because of the smell trait. So let's see. So we can arrange potions. We have two of these and one of these. Now these is, this is down a little bit. So why don't we hold on to it? And then we can open the shop and sell those potions to close out our day. So it's, this is the same gloomy artisan waved to, the, waved to you on the street. So you're gonna lose extra patience. I'll draw a card. I'm going to apply Sympathy, which will increase interest gained. And then end turn. At this rate, I'll never finish my masterpiece. So we can set them up. 
We're going to set them up again to go up a little. And then we're going to close deal because we're down to one patience. They really need to pick to light these streets better. This one might work for me, but I'm not entirely sold yet. But they are picky. So they're going to grant a shield. Let's open with set them up. Then we shall scheme. And let's think a little bit more. Nope. Think. We'll do that. Now we wait. We're going to get some shield, which will make it harder to raise them to higher interest levels. But we can do this and then reel them in. And now they're down to one, so we close it out. Okay, got up to 38. That's all of them for now. Okay, we have something brewing overnight. So we spent a bunch of gold to get a, a lot of ingredients and to do some questy stuff, and we made 75. So another maybe 15 minutes or so, I will take a break and then probably keep going until four or something, maybe five. I wonder what today has in store for me. Greetings, Tuskless One! I have for you a question of dire importance. The potions that you sell, do you make them yourself? I sure do. Every potion you see is handcrafted on the site by me, Sylvia. It gladdens me to hear it, for potion crafting is a noble profession. A noble profession indeed. I am pleased to meet you, Sylvia. You may call me Muktuk, for as that is my name. I wonder if I might be of service to you in your endeavors. Oh, we're really not hiring right now. You misunderstand. I do not seek employment, for I have already found my calling, and it is a great one. Like you, I am a craftsperson. My media are metal, and all the minerals of the earth. My skill is unmatched. But key to any artisan's success is, ex is access to the right tools. And I cannot help but notice. You appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. Tell me, do you not thrive on innovation? Do you not wish to dance upon the razor edge of progress? I like to be on the cutting edge. Innovation is as necessary as food and breathable air. It also tends to be expensive. Then you must allow me to be of service. Please, accept this cauldron as a token of my respect and as a sample of all I have to offer. Cauldron. Wow, thanks. That's so generous of you. But are you sure where I come from? Cauldrons are pretty expensive. I only regret that I cannot offer all my many goods and services free of charge. Truly, it is a most impossible dilemma. I view each cauldron as a work of art, and art is meant to be freely accessible to all. And yet, I must find I find I must cover the costs of production at the very least. Otherwise I shall have no materials with which to make these artworks. And to leave these righteous flippers bereft of material and idle of purpose would be unthinkable. In the end, to put a tr price tag upon my cauldrons, this feels like the lesser sin. Speaking of art, nice tattoos. They really suit you. Of all life's canvases, none is more exquisite than the body. Especially a body that is rippling with muscle. But I hope you do not find my confidence off-putting. Such conviction is not so common here as it is in my homeland. I find it necessary, however, to hold myself in high regard. Those of us who put our creations on display, who are judged so openly and so often, should be the first to see and celebrate our own strengths. We must be kind to ourselves. We must pump ourselves up. For it is only by fanning the spark of pride within us 
that we can hope to ignite the flames of interest in another. Pump up. It gives you a buff. Increase the next interest applied um, from a card by 50%. Solid advice. Solid as an anvil. I'm glad to know you, Sylvia, and I hope that I shall see you again. Please visit my market stall. I'm going to go with more of a mid-Atlantic or a continental accent here instead of actually British. Please visit my market stall. See all that I have to offer. For the world can be a hold place, and those of us who toil to bring light and beauty into being, we must stand together. I like Muktuk. I wouldn't say that he qualifies as a himbo because he clearly has like a lot to say about art and like the necessity of commerce in art and following your passion. But he if if he fits into the himbo ecosystem, then he's like the craftsman himbo or like the philosopher craftsman. It's very fun. So more customers. Enchanted Forest does not do stuff. Uh, weaker monsters, reduced drops, and ingredients from there will cost more. Nice of Muktuk to give you a new cauldron. Oh, wait, uh, sorry, voice. Let's set it up in the shop now, shall we? Customizing the shop to your liking is a big perk to owning this place. Go well with it. <laughs> and we shall put this clay cauldron here. Ah, this cauldron is in use. We can't do that. Let's brew. What's going on? This potion shall be bottled. And it's got good smells. Alright, so we wait. So we can switch the cauldron. Customization. Put this cauldron here. And then we're going to have new wood floor everywhere. Look at that. And new stucco on the walls. Look at when much nicer looking now. Okay, now we can brew some more potions. gets new stuff yet. Let's go ahead and just start making a thing. Because we want to get some blue magimens so I can make a po uh, poison potion to then send mint to an area that has poison. All right, we can do some kappa pheromones. Nope, not this one. Sack of slime. Sack of slime. Okay, so now we have more magimens. This is a red and yellow, which will make a fire tonic. I don't know what's going on over here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, it is 3.27, so I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to save. I'm going to save over this. I'm going to come back here, and then I'm going to go to my break card and take a quick break. After a couple of minutes, I will be back with more of Potionomics, which is very fun. It just is a lot of talking, so I need to make sure to take care of my throat back in a couple minutes for more fun.
Hello, I'm back. So potions are brewing. Yes, we're making a fire tonic. Great. I have not done much with gifting. Let's check our decks. Uh, okay. I'm gonna drop the two brace yourselves. I'm gonna add those. I don't know that I need four of close it out, but I haven't decided yet. I do want two of captivates. I add those instead of that other card draw because I have scheme for card draw. We haven't added plant the seed yet. Muck tuck. All right, so we're gonna save that, and now let's go travel around. There's here's Muck tuck. And here's Quinn. I'm going to go to Quinn first for ingredients and then see how much it will cost to do uh, stuff at, for Muktuk. Hey, Sylvia. I hear you've been busy. Oh, what have you heard exactly? Nothing especially interesting. Min just mentioned you've been working with the Heroes Guild. She's too nice to give me the real gossip. It's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I know all the heroes. After they go on their little adventures, they sell their trash items to me. It's basically my whole business model. Trash comes in, trash goes out. Of course, they give the best stuff for their clients. So I'm guessing you've got something decent in your inventory for once. Maybe something I've never seen before. Give it here. What? No. Why would I do that? Suit yourself. I'm just trying to help you out. I know how this goes. You get your hands on a good ingredient, and you're all excited to use it in a potion, right? So you throw it in your cauldron and poof, it's gone forever. That doesn't have to be that way. What's the alternative? Easy. Hand it over to me instead. My clairvoyance lets me hone in on the specific ingredients. Meaning, if you give me something good, I'll be able to find more of it. And then I can start offering that ingredient for sale in my shop. You miss out on the instant gratification, but you get guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future. Yeah, okay, I could see how that would come in handy. I'll let you know if I decide to take you up on it. There, see? You give me the free stuff, and we all benefit. Mostly me, but still. I wouldn't expect you to operate any other way. But hey, since you're so chummy with all the heroes, does this mean I'll be running into you at the guild hall? Nah. Despite the invaluable service I provide with the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their clubhouse. You set one fire, and somebody suddenly everybody acts like you're a real liability. You set two fires, and you get, again, you get banned for life. Consider yourself warned, I guess. Now, did you want to buy something? Good old two fires, Quinn. Alright, so I'm going to give Quinn this unicorn horn so that I can get... I can buy them later. And then I buy. All right, not gonna buy any of these because I, because they're they cost extra, and I already have good supplies of them. Maybe a couple fey berries. Now I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna go to Muktuk and see what Muktuk. Yeah, Quinn's hat is amazing. All right, so I want this glass cauldron, which is what I've been using before. Actually, let's check shelves. So let's do this first. So because my throat is getting sore, I'm going to back off on a lot of the voices. I'm honored by a decision to make a purchase. Honored and delighted. 
Hey, don't mention it. From your lips to the ears of the ancestors. Even this fine work, it could be better. This is an upgrade system. So, the next, you know, I want to make some money so that I can do upgrades and things. The upgrade to this shelf will cost, we'll need a mushroom and some money. So I'm going to go to Mint and I'm going to send her on a quest if I can. Let's see what I have in terms of potions. Okay, great. So we got some things. I can feed some of these to Quinn. But I may not have the potions to be able to set her up for much. Let's see how this goes. Okay, yeah, let's try that. go to Baptiste. The quest was a success. Here are the spoils. Stuff. So if I feed all these to Quinn, I can buy them in the future. Invest. Let's get one of, let's just do that one. seem to like that. Cool. Now to Quinn to give you stuff to copy or to be able to then sell. One, two. So this takes a lot of my ability to do special brews today, but it will pay off. Here, and we're just gonna make some basic, basic potions and just get repetition to make the money. Okay, this is still brewing. Yeah, Baptiste is is doing is always doing the most, and we have a shelf here. It gives a plus 5% bonus to potions. I think 5% and then another plus three. We don't have potions. So unfortunately, I have not found a, a button that is just wait in the shop. So I guess I will need to travel. I guess Mint will be back, right? Because I had to travel back home. That sounds like a success. All right, now we got some more things. We've already fed a horn. and We've already fed this diamond, so we can maybe use those. And... Let's call that good for now. Now we brew and we see what we got. Nice. Okay. Common fire tonic. Very good. Look at that. And three of them. Perfect. Do that, and then we're gonna do. Okay, so that's six. We're gonna get three of this potion. 
we do have fuel. So that means... Yeah, that's good. Yep, I like that. And we do have potions to sell, so I'm going to do that. And then we'll have potions ready here, and I can start brewing some more to go overnight. Let's get some money! Let's sell those tonics. Hi, Mint. I'm just going to get back all the money that I gave you for the last your last couple of adventures. Which is a little weird. But I guess she's doing adventures for other people as well. Reduces interest implied. Reel them in. Reel them in. Okay, I guess we can do this. And there'll still be one left. Well, I, I should have just closed out because this will reduce the interest applied. I guess I can do this and it will go back up. And then I can do this. But then I don't have a... Uh, um, close the deal, so this is fine. Oh, picky artisan, eh? All right, I do want to set him up. Captivate will only give us one. We'll get some shield. They'll do three stress, which means puts me at one. That's only a 1% chance of drawing us a stress card. All right, so we already have set him up. I'm going to use Captivate. And then this one and this one. They're going to take extra patience, but that's fine. I still have some left. So we can set them up, set them up again, keep your guard up, and then close it out. It's up to 69. Nice. This town is really growing fast. So you're just going to take extra patience. Do that and end turn. <laughs> I left my toddler in charge. Oh no. Not great, honestly. So let's do two real and then. Okay, so it gets a, uh, you, that buff gets used up. So let's do just do that and close deal. Alright, we made some decent money off of that. And then we have potions. I don't know that we'll be able to open again. Let's just see. Hey, common mana potions. Only one star common mana potion, but it'll still fetch a nice price. I don't remember whether I've fed this to Quinn. I know I've done I have done this one. So if I do this. Well that's just gonna be more mana potions is the thing. probably get more of uh, the shell. And I think I'll just do that 
if it costs one so brew two uh, there's actually two extra time segments overnight so if i use this it will go down to one but if i open the store again and sell it'll use both of those time slots up so i don't really need to do this i'd have to travel again to be able to use this so i'm just going to do that part And we're going to arrange potions. These are not good enough for the competition, so I'm just gonna sell them. A little scheme for some cards. We're gonna get sympathy. We're gonna increase that. We're gonna end turn. Okay, just a 3% debuff. Captivate to get some more patience. We're gonna get sympathy. We're gonna raise your interest. So you would go down to zero, which is would finish, would mean that they run away. So I'm just gonna close it out. Get up to 76. Moment. Yes, it is stressful to sell to your friends. Gotta keep my guard up. Alright, I will wait. Choosing between potions and inert. Eh, yikes. Okay. So now I can do this double combo, right? I lose the set em up and I don't get it back because it's not an opener anymore. You're going to take an extra time so I can end turn here and I hope that next turn I'm going to draw the either a, um, a sympathy, no, not sympathy, the, the audience one, or just to close it out, which is what I got. Up to 78. We're gonna set them up. We're gonna get some sympathy. We're gonna reel them in. And I'm gonna lose one time and take a couple stress. So we don't have a reel them in. I do that. Then we get this bonus. We have two left, so I should close. So not quite as high as we got with Mint, but that's fine. Now we're at 422. So I think basically the first three days are more actively tutorialized, and then on day four, you're a little bit more on your own. One of the guides that I read suggested making a hard save on the morning of day four. which I think we will do. Uh-oh. Well, what do we have here? Hi, I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? So this is our Ojo-sama. Oh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne, and I'm a potion maker of some renown around here. You know, I suppose that makes us rivals. What? Oh, don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. And if I were, well, it appears someone else beat me to it. I'm simply here to wish you luck, dear. After all, just because we're rivals doesn't mean we have to be enemies. Really, wow, that's, um, that's a huge relief, actually. I'm new here, and I could use a little friendly advice. Absolutely. Start with hot, soapy water and a vigorous scrubbing. I want to ask about the competition. Ah, oh, yes, well, a daddy that will be. And I can see it now. The adoring masses, the cries of adulation, the huge pile of gold soiled with the tears and viscera of my fallen opponent. I'll have to rinse it off before I spend it. 
So, rival character. I said we weren't enemies. I never said we were friends. Well, she went from good luck to I'm going to enjoy disemboweling you awfully fast. She was right about one thing. Rafter's economy thrives on competition. We don't want to be the only potion shop in town. Just the best one. Let's start with uh, not the worst and work our way up from there. Okay, gem, ore, and bug ingredients will cost less. Enchanted Forest has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops, and its ingredients will cost more. So, the other thing you can do is you can stock shelves, you can put some in the front window, display. You don't get to sell those, but they will draw in more shoppers. Okay, let's build deck. We have that. We have pump up. Coupons, eh? those for now and add pump ups. Understanding that I'm going to have less stress protection, but I will make more money because I'll be able to increase more interest. We bottle that health potion. We've got the two of those. do this for mana potions. Okay. It's going to get a bad it's going to get a bad trait, but it may hit um, the next tier. For this, we will use that because then we're going to go and see people. All right, let's go to Muktuk's forge first. I'm going to get this cauldron and to upgrade it I need one of these golem eye diamonds. Okay. I'm going to go around and visit people. And then I think after the round of selling, I'll do some hanging out. I don't know that I have stuff to give you. You're gonna give lower loot drops. So it's but it's probably still fine. Because you're level three now. was a success. Here are the spoils. We got a rotfly cocoon and a nuclear shadow essence. Wow. Let's wait and go see Quinn because I did give him a bunch of things to be able to access. And having better ingredients will just will give me better um, stuff, right? So you are good smells. Excellent. All of you cost more, except you. Oh, I could just buy one of you. Yeah. Let's just do that so we can do the upgrade soon-ish. 
and by you. Uh, one more of those is not going to make a big difference. And I'm going to give you both of these. And then we're going to hang out. You can't succeed in this business if you can't tell us something from something else I clicked too quickly. rank up with a chat. It's a nice view. Press the attack. Raise interest by five and draw a card. This is where Quinn has you get chocolates for them. So Quinn has been banned from all of these chocolate stalls and therefore Sylvia went to get free samples that Quinn now has. Tell me more. So. The mad nobody was around, the magic seeped into all the stuff. And Maven was the big bad. We're in this together then. I think they were talking about their mimic chest, which is kind of fun. That's all. We can't go do. Th oh, actually, we can do this because we did a hangout. So let's go back to Mint and see what we got. And then we'll go back to the shop. Oh, didn't quite make it all the way. But she had to get some stuff. And let's see what can I give you? I don't know about that. Here we go. Okay, we brew. These are all bar, all brewed. Great common mana potion, but it has two bad traits, unfortunately. This will get us up to common fire tonic, I think. Now, let's see what we can do. We've got these. And we can put one of these here and then sell the health potion. Now we open the shop. And if we get enough money, we can probably we might be able to go out and have Muktuk upgrade the cauldron as Sanguine Hayes recommended. Oh, I didn't add in the card that I got from Quinn. That's fine. Scheme. So captivate for plus one. 
We're just doing time. Then turn. Set them up. Reel them in. Captivate for more patience. And wait for a close it out. Only a very small debuff on the price. Okay, so I guess we do this for a little bit of a bonus and then close it out. Get up to 71. It's Baptiste. I might go for this one if you can sell me on it. Let's just... But we know Baptiste is a noble. He can afford it, probably. Passionate affluent. Set him up. Reel him in. Reel him in. I don't want to take all that stress, so we're just going to close it out. Not the best, but it was a kind of a our least fancy potion. And then reel them in. Seven. We'll lose two patients. Alright, I'm gonna set them up. We're gonna pump them up, and then we're gonna close them out, and we gain 14 interest. Get that up to 68. 199, so that's enough to do the upgrade, I believe. Is this done? Because if it is, then I can start doing something else. I can, yes, great. So, common fire tonic. One star with a positive trait. 18, 12, us to very stable. We're already at common health potion. So if we do this, 36, we could add one of these, right? Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, one of these, and now it's perfect. And it's going to brew overnight, so the time is not as much an issue. Let's go see Muktuk and get that upgrade. It will also, I think, increase the total number of Magimans that we can have in that cauldron. Yes. Oh, nope. Still seven, but it will increase the amount of uh, Magimans, so the, the total qual quality that's viable. Upgraded. I right, can upgrade again and get Magimans. For that, we need a Sphinx Flea. Good to know. What can I give you? Something crafted, right? That's probably what I would want to give you. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Seeing you is gift enough. That makes me think it was not especially on target. All muck duck. I have to be. I want to be able to see various people. I mean, she basically got all these for me, so I do have enough to send her on an adventure, but not. I don't know that I have the potions, right? I have fire tonic. Okay. Right. 
that's all. Oh, I didn't do a, a save at the start of the day, did I? Oh well, we'll start do a save on the start of day five. So this is about the dad, fewer heroes. So the, uh, the sorry, the uncle had to go and get his own ingredients. It was very dangerous. And that's probably where Oswald died. He's dead, definitely dead, super dead. Not turned into an owl. Paul of Doom indeed, the nerve. Okay, spent a lot of gold. Do not look at the man behind the curtain indeed. Five days left to the competition. So we want to upgrade our stuff, get better and better Magimans, stuff like that. Custom orders. Custom orders allow a customer to submit a, respect, a request for a specific combination of potions. You have a choice on whether you'll take it. Accepting the request gives you an opportunity to sell multiple potions at once, as well as giving you time to gather the ingredients you need for the brew. This also makes me think about donuts. Increased value for fire tonics. Increased value for poison cures. Mushroom monster has stronger monsters and better loot. More customers. Haggle customers will start with a sympathy debuff. And extra value for basic potions. Time to make a plan. Oh, you know what? I haven't been, I didn't switch over my, um, my cauldron to the new, to the glass one yet. So, are you done? It has one left. Okay. So, I could go to Quinn and buy things, but I don't have a lot of... I can put you over here, and you here. And we'll sell a bunch of stuff. Let's do deck builder. Press the attack. I'm gonna switch out scheme. It's less card draw, but cheaper and increases interest. Friendly craftsman. So we open with Captivate, we pump them up, and then we reel them in. Nice, up to moderately interested. Then we end turn, and we get some stress. Okay, this is an opener. We press the attack and draw a card. Then we set them up again. We have enough patience to let them go again. So we just lose extra patience. So we can spend two. We don't have enough for both of these. So let's just, uh, what, what's this card? At the end of turn, applies tension, okay. Raise interest by eight and then close deal. 101. This, it's, a, it's a good mana potion. Quinn, however, will stress me out a bit. Okay. Captivate. Captivate some more. Press the attack. Reel them in. 
got some patience left. We'll use, lose extra time, but we have some left. So at the end of turn applies tension. I'm gonna press the attack to see if we get a close. No. Oh, we do have a close out. So we have that much. Then we pump up and then we close out and we get plus 14, but that doesn't get us all the way up to the next tier. Health potion and a fire tonic. Yeah. I might even be able to do that now. We do this. We press the attack. I guess I can use that and it'll just wait. Yeah, the kind of buff focus deck has been fun. Okay, let's captivate. And we already have a pump up. We have the time. I don't know that that playing it will do anything more for me. And their defense goes away if I wait. on that. Let's press the attack. We can reel them in and then we close it out. Which gets us to 106. I see you've accepted your first custom order. Don't screw it up. You can also mail the order directly to the client from this list. Custom orders, okay. And I don't have them because I just sold one of them. <laughs> yes, pizza tastes just out of the oven. Uh, tastes best just out of the oven. No, the human palate isn't ha built to handle molten cheese. Don't I know it, client. Extremely relatable. Not quite good enough for the competition, but still pretty great. Okay, so we're going to wait, and we're going to customize, and we're going to put in our upgraded cauldron. Here we go. Okay. So this one could hold six ingredients and 115 magimens, and the one that we have can hold seven... I believe, with 140. Yep, seven for 170, okay. We do one of these. That's good. Oh, I thought I had something that was a bunch of red. I must have already used it. can do that again. Red and yellow. What if we didn't? What if we do... positive traits, I believe. So be sure to brew your competition potions before the competition day. You cannot have the last one brew overnight. You do not have time to bottle them in the morning, which is something I learned and possibly may have cost me the victory, but that's fine because now I'm here and selling things. I'm going to 
put this there. Actually, I'm going to keep you and I'm going to sell this one because then I have the, this is the special order, I believe. And I'm getting a bunch more money will let me buy various things. Okay. I'm going to raise interest by 10. That's slightly higher. And we're going to end turn because we have the defense for the stress. Okay, I'm going to do this one to make this bigger, better. And then I'm going to gain patience. I'm going to press the attack. And you're going to reduce interest gained. I'm just going to end turn. Leave myself with a little bit more patience for a combo next time. Okay. Not a... Didn't really hit the optimal. Because that's not going to get to the next tier. That's okay. This was my least great potion for this batch. Okay, another one of these. I can probably do that. Gain more patience, but I will take some stress. So it doubles all stress received from all sources. Yikes. What are you doing? You're gonna give me four stress and draw one fewer card. Yeah, but you have so much more patience left. Better be worth it. I need to get 21 more. That does take me to 23. And it will cost me three, so actually we're gonna wait on this. So I'm stressing a bit more, but I'm hoping to get a good Ender here. Plus two patience. Press the attack. Reel them in. Pump up. And then close. Okay, didn't get up to the next tier, but 145 is pretty good. Stress me out some more. So I have a 16% chance of uh, getting a stress card. I gain tension, but I'm not getting stress from Quinn. They're just running out of patience. I've got five patients left. It will it'll take three at the end of the turn. I should probably just finish. There's a reel them in. And we're going to do keep your guard up and close out. It does not get up to the next tier, but we'll get 145. 844 from those is very nice. So we can go and buy some things. Custom orders. We can just turn this one in. Okay. Very good. 155.
So that's brewing. I should, in fact, travel. Right, we're gonna hang out, because that'll also relieve some stress. Okay, they do, they whack more bushes. Cannot rank up yet. What can I give you? No, nah, none of that. Let me go to Baptiste and I will invest some things. Um, yeah, let's go for all that. And then to Muktuk. can't do any of the time activities that take time because it will take one unit of time to go home. Okay, so I need, what are you? Showcase. Okay, these will increase the prices of things. Potions or tonics. Right. I guess I'm gonna wait on that one. What if I, no, I don't wanna give you any of those. They're not necessarily the thing that I want. So let's go to Quinn. It's not like that Muktuk. I like everybody. Shop. They do have a bit of everything. Okay, let's get one of these. What else have I gotten? Getting fancy stuff. You give eight. Yeah, I want these instead. Alright, and I'm almost out of some of these. You are. good. And then I need some of this just because. all the way to the boss fight, but I may get to day eight or nine. I definitely am going to keep playing this game. I'm going to see if I can have multiple saves going at once, because then I can just play something on my own and have a stream game, because I'm going to want to play this again before even Friday. Roxanne... Now we're moving on to a different type of insult. Well, I certainly don't have to stand here and be insulted by the intimation that I'm doing exactly what I'm doing. Well, look at all this. Increase in merchant customers. Mushroom Meyer has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Increase in customers. Hackle customers will start with da, 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 da. Mushroom Mire has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. And Mushroom Mire ingredients will cost more. Brew. So these are all done. So, common mana potion. Zero stars, but two good um, traits. And. Greater mana potion. Interesting. 
I don't need that is the thing. I don't need it to be greater. What's the recipe for poison? Two to one to one, A to C to D. I don't have anything else that gives D. Just you. Okay, that I definitely need. All right, let's make some some good health and mana potions for Mint to go on a quest later today. Okay, now we have this. We don't need to make it any better than this, honestly. So we can add one of these and one of these. And then we'd have to add something that does both. We could do that. What happens there? It does get way better. I mean, this I could use one of these and save it as my competition uh, thing. Oh, five is a lot, though. Can I make this... Not five? No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I do have common mana. I already have common mana potions. So let's do. these out and I add Where, is somebody worth four four of B and C so I take one of you out and one of you then we're back to 36 36 which perfect common it'll end up being about tier two but it'll only take four Now I want to definitely go get some fuel because of how these um, brew times are increasing. Custom orders. Okay, that one is already done. Pump up, press the attack, scheme. Get to, okay, I've got all that. What do I have? I just have those, so let's not. Well, yeah, here, but I don't have, uh, like I, don't, I don't have the stuff to sell. That's, uh, well, I guess I can, I can sell these. Because I need to move some time forward. And then I need some money to do other things with. Um, I don't know that I can do that. I'm sorry. Activate. Take some stress. Uh, now we're talking some money. So, set them up. Reel them in. Set them up. Close out. and a pump up. Okay, we have this, so reel them in. Set them up. Keep your guard up. Turn. 
big mustache on this one. Okay, we have two patients left. So we can do this one and then close out, which will get us at least up to that next tier. For 144. Now we have 291, which we can go and invest. Yeah, 44% in the first turn. That one went nicely. All right, so now we can do things like hang out with people all day because we have stuff brewing. Oh, look at all this stuff. So we've got some unique things, a bunch of new stuff that I can give to Quinn. Let's hang out, because that'll also reduce some stress. We go on a snipe hunt. So this may be a mostly American thing, but a snipe hunt is a uh, basically a pointless quest or a pointless um, fetch quest. Snipes don't exist. They're used in different ways by different businesses and communities. In some trades, like a, a brand new handy person will be sent on a snipe quest when as they're asked for a particular tool that doesn't exist. But what this does is the person who's new, they they come up, they bring a tool to the experts, and then the experts they say, no, that's that's A, and then they give the name of the thing. And so it's a way of introducing the tools while uh, having fun at the newbie's expense. So Baptiste was sent on a snipe quest. Uh, Sylvia kind of goes along with it, but Baptiste feels fine because he's got incredible uh, uh, self-esteem. I trust you don't mind if I multitask. Favorite brand of conditioner? Extra silky dental floss. Self weighed woman. My father is the Duke of Ambervale. My great grandfather was a lowly baron. Ah. Great great grandfather founded a Heroes Guild, or the Heroes Guild, I guess. My brothers ended up with cushy con positions on the continent. Opportunity for riches or romance. Ta-da, build rapport. Raise interest by eight. If an opener applies sympathy for two turns. So sympathy is what you can get from one of Mint's cards that gives you a block and sympathy. We just received a large shipment of grindstones and it falls on me to unload them all. Let's hope I don't come to regret that impulse. All right, we're going to invest. And just do that. And then let's go to Muktuk. Oh, I want to go to Quinn and um, give Quinn stuff. But if I rank up, then I will not be able to get my thing. I won't be able to start a new potion overnight. Unfortunately. So I can't upgrade either of those. Can I do I have enough to for either of these? No. I need the I want the cactus. Okay. And I don't have the potions for mint. So let's go to Quinn. Expand. I'll give you all the things. And then do 
have anything left to buy. There is plenty left to buy. here to bottle what we have and then start brewing something new. I'm an earl. It's a courtesy title. I feel like for the most part Baptiste has played pretty sympathetically because he's not... He doesn't seem to be actively lording over people versus, like, this is my background. I'm not ashamed of it. Which, like, aristocracy is bad anyway, but in terms of less terrible noble characters, you know, I think he does fine. Raven Shadow. Nuclear Shadow. So what's the store? Mana Potion. So I think this will give us something we can use for the competition. It'll brew one now, two more overnight, and then a couple in the morning. That's probably fine. I do want to go get some fuel. More earnest than snobby. I think that's a good way of putting it. What do I have? Yeah, I can sell those. Well, I want to keep some for mint in the morning. So I think I'm just gonna go snooze. Right. More money in than out, just barely. Nimble, versatile. Carpentry. Roxanne's irresistible oil or decreased value for mana potions. Alright, so you are still, what, two away? Yep. So Roxanne, or the, not Roxanne. There's a character, the character we're going to go see sells fuel. So I'm going to buy some of that. It's going to be important for getting all the potions that I want brewed by the competition to be done. And here is, I'm guessing, Dryad? Sorry about that. I was just securing the timber I need to put the finishing touches on a new galleon. You're building a whole galleon from scratch? Well, nothing's made from nothing. Force provides everything I need for my projects. And every carpenter should build a fleet every now and then. Keeps you sharp. My name's Saffron, by the way. Would you like to hear more about my services? Saffron's got a wooden arm. Fuel, fancy, fancy. Carpentry. Never ask a witch her age. I like your hat. Horns coming out of the hat. I don't know exactly how that works, but it doesn't matter. Meditate, reduce stress, which is very good. So I'm going to 
buy some fuel. Oh, I don't have the money. Well, I'll buy one of these and then I'll come back. Carpentry. So, these are major upgrades, but I think I'm going to have to wait until after the competition. What do I have to give to you? Hydrovertebra. I mean, you might like that. Alright, let's go home. Oh, maybe I should have gone to Baptiste to get my, um, whatever I got from the expedition. Oh, okay, I didn't actually go home. Ooh, rocks! And Figment Palm. I don't have the money to invest, so now back home. Okay, let's brew. Oh, this one still has one left. Boo. Should have done, uh, should have hung out with somebody. all those. My bad. Let's, let's hang out with Muktuk. I can make time for a fellow artist. travel for a walrus. A great pilgrimage! He's big. He's beautiful. He's passionate. as a living artwork. Like a guy who knows what he likes. Blush. Enthusiasm is like love or beauty. It is not diminished when it is shared. That's very nice. Enthusiasm for three patients raise interest by 16. And that combos well with his other thing. where the interest um, uh, gained by your next card is increased by 50%. Let's see, are you, any of you carved? I mean, you might like one of these, right? This gift really tickles my whiskers. Cool. No. Just here. 
Ooh, greater health potion. Look at that. Green. Oh, we have we have hit our Magimin limit, so let's not use the uh, quartz. Perfect. Common. We might get that up to where we need it to be. One, two, three, that's overnight. But I don't really have... Do I have other choices? Yeah, I, I do, I guess. So instead of a six, do I have an eight? Four, four, eighteen, six. Now can I take one of these out and put in? the basic. What do I... I have... Okay. So let's... Let's try and make a good fire tonic. Common fire tonic. Fire tonic is red and um, red and well, let's check our recipes. One to one, A to C. Okay, we have two rot fly cocoons. Perfect. One. Oh, not that. P to C. Oh. Thirty to thirty. Common fire tonic. It might just do. That's three, which is overnight. Okay. What do we have? Okay. So I'm gonna go to Mint and send her on a quest. See if I can go. Can I send you? Oh, I don't have the money to send her anywhere. That's the thing. So I'm just going to hang out instead. Can't, don't, I don't have the time to go home and set up shop, so let's rank up. Oh, how about your place? Mm -hmm. 
What's the fire under him? Comfort food? There are people in this town with no cookies, and that is an injustice I cannot allow to continue. Aww. The fangirl vibes are very appealing. I dig the gloves. Looking for dragons. No gremlins in the cookie jar or slimes in the shrubs. Not even a side quest. Cute and clever. Just a tank, and tanks face problems head on. Every famous hero I write about has a famous weapon. Wielding a one of a kind legendary weapon is a surefire way of proving I deserve to be here. Let's get you a hammer. Plenty of weapons have gone missing. Muscle memory, so this is a free card. No, does not cost any interest, but it, or it doesn't got any patience, but it does raise interest. That's very cute. All right, so I should head back. I'm gonna have to send Mint on quests tomorrow. So I have I can make potions today and tomorrow, but I've already hit one of my um, requirements. Slime and essence, okay. Increased value for health potions. Enchanted forest has stronger monsters and better loot. Still de decreased value for mana potions. Must craft the potions prior to the contest. Okay, it is three stars, and it has two positive traits. So that is my second potion that I've completed. So if I give you health potion, Six unstable because there's too much blue, but that's still really good. But that will take all day one, two, three, four, five. So that will finish at the end of the day. Let's go for it. Chance of losing a, st a star would take us from greater health back down one tier, but I think that's worth it. then we'll still be very high in the previous tier. Okay. Let's keep one. Put one here. Oh, no, not mana potions, because mana potions... Um, I guess, we, yeah, we'll sell one of those. And I can put one here, but then I need to take it back. Um, and I guess I put one here. No bonuses. Then whatever. Because I haven't built a standy part yet. Right, I gotta get some money so I can send Mint to do some things. And then I think. Um. Our, no, sorry. We're going to 
going to make me draw a stress card, so let's keep my guard up. Grab a card and pump up. And turn. I've got my defense. It's not snake oil. It's very good. So can finish this without getting the extra stress, so let's do that. Plus 50% 50, 50 is not shabby at all. Hi, Saffron. Let's reel around. And end turn. the attack. Set them up. And that will let me close it out and get up to the next tier. 109. Okay. So that gives me some money that I can give to Mint, and I still have potions that I can um, send her with. Let's pull that. And... Okay, this, yeah, this is one of my competition potions. And I have something brewing. So let's go here. I want to at least send Mint on this quest before I forget about it. And then maybe we'll call it, because it's five o'clock. Bone wastes. How's that going to go for you? You're already level 3. Okay. I don't have more health potions, so just do what you can, Mint. And I should get fuel while I have money. Super keen here. B, C, D. Let's get one of those. Okay, and then restock on the basics. Flat broke achievement if you get all the way down to zero gold. I believe my uh, my potions are going to take longer, so I should do some hanging out. Okay, is that enough to rank up? It is not. What if I give you something? I don't know that that's... I don't know that that is a great gift. Yeah, it's hard to have that be gifts for when uh, uh, I'm buying all this stuff from uh, from them. All right, I did not have. Uh, I did not make an investment since the last time I, or that was not the last thing that I did. Still snipe hunting. All right now, 
let's go back. I should be able to bottle that potion and start something overnight. And then I will stop. Here we go. Let's see how this comes out. Greater health potion. Perfect. Look at that. That's going to rock in the competition. Okay, what I want here is I want to try to get two to one to... What do I have for you? I don't want B is the, is the problem. But that's... So I'm not, not getting poison. Oh, here we go. No. Why did it... Oh, because I still had the recipe out. Um, I guess we can do that. I haven't done these in a while. Or I haven't done this, these, this run. green and a little bit more yellow and um, red. Do I have anything that's those two? Sort of. That's close. Yep, that'll, that's good for overnight. So this is the reveal about Roxanne, or a reveal about Roxanne. The injury in question was a paper cut. Roxanne's potions aren't very effective. Not sure that they even are potions. An inquiry would take weeks. Now I'm sure I'm the better potion maker because I make actual potions. Okay. So this is the next day is the last day to make stuff. I have my competition potions. But it is 5 p.m. It is time to walk the dog and or make dinner. So I'm going to call it here. I'm actually going to... I probably have to get to a, another menu to save. So, yep. Save. Do that. And yeah, that's Potionomics. It's really fun. I'm digging it a lot. I'm hoping that I'll be able to just like run from something else. Okay, let's do this, and then maybe I'll continue in a branch save, and then come back to this one so that we can have a canonical save. Yeah, it's very fun. I dig the art. It's got nice music. It's just... it's it. Uh, I enjoy my time with it in a way that is nicely uncomplicated in a world that is often very very complicated so i dig it and look there's a little happy slime over here and here's owl looking cute and stern it's just it's nice i really appreciate it the word nice gets like robbed of meaning but it is just pleasant to be in in and playing this game so that's very fun i'm going to poke at twitch to see who's streaming if we could go say hello to anybody um, Fawn and Games are actually also playing Potionomics, so let's go raid them. Alright, thanks for coming and hanging out, folks. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.
Bye.